Hey Excellence, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can, with just a few clicks, the email address from this list of long strings. And what's even really better is that it requires no Excel formulas and no VBA macros. So, what we do is in the ribbon, we go into data, then we go into from table. Now, if your data set is in a table, then the tool doesn't need to convert this into a table before moving on to the next step. But if it isn't in table format, then it converts into a table. So we go into form table, and because it's not in the table, it opens up the create table dialog box. So click on OK. Then what Excel does, it opens up a separate program called the Power Query Editor. And the Power Query Editor is a fantastic tool which you can use to carry out a variety of transformation on your data. And you've got all the tools on the on the interface. So what we need to do is we need to go for this particular tool called split column. Now you can either use it in the home tab or you can use it in the transform tab. And we're going to use it in the transform tab. So let's click on split column. And then the option we need to use is by delimiter because the delimiter is a space. And what we need to do, the target is we want to split each word in each row into its own row. And the delimit is going to be a space. So what we do is we click on by delimit first in the split column tool, and just wait a few moments before the split column by delimit tool appears. And what we need to do is we need to click on this drop down and select the delimiter, which is a space. And then we need to click on advanced options. The default is it's going to split the the text into its own separate column each word. Well, we want to actually split it into rows, so we click on this option here for rows, and click on OK. So as you can see now, each word is now in its own row, including the email address, so we're nearly there. Next thing we do is we click on this drop down arrow here, like with normal Excel filters, and then we need to go for a text filter, and the option we choose for text filters is contains. And then the text filters for filter rows, the default is contained, which is the one that we want. And we want to filter for uh, rows uh, which contain email addresses. And each email address has the at sign, so we can use that as the filter. We type at and click on OK. So now what we've got now is the, the data set being filtered just with email addresses only. The next step is, and the final step is, going to the Home tab. We click on close and load and then close and load too and then just wait a few moments before the next step and what happens is the load to dialog box appears now you can either load the output into a new worksheet or an existing worksheet i've got a existing worksheet set up called extracted email addresses and the output's going to be one of the output to appear in that sheet we click on the existing worksheet put this button there and then we click on the the tab for the output email address and then click on A1. We want the output to be appearing in A1 of the extracted email addresses tab. Click on OK. And just wait a few moments before the output appears. And click on load. So as you can see, all the email addresses are now appearing in its own row and on a separate worksheet and this is linked to a power query and this power query is here and then you can edit it and you can also refresh it as well so this is all dynamic because it's linked to a power query and all the steps are already within the power query it's dynamic so that if you change the source in that there's a new row in your data set that contains the email address in a long string you want it to appear quickly on your output. All you need to do is right click on your Power Query and then click on Refresh and it automatically appears. It's all dynamic. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.